Hi, my name is John Remis. I'm a third year student at the Tufts University School of Dental Medicine. The name of our study is the simulated nighttime grinding of 3D printed night guards versus lab manufactured night guards. The study was done by Dr. Christian Cornwall, myself, Katie Dunn, Duong Tran, and Dr. Gerard Kugel. As you might know, occlusive guards are often used as a treatment for bruxism. Bruxism is the grinding of teeth and clenching of the jaws that occurs often at night while the person is sleeping. Due to this grinding, the guards are often subject to wear over time. 3D printed resins have been indicated as a possible alternative to what's currently being used as lab manufactured night guards. Therefore, in this study, we decided to compare the wear resistance of these 3D printed materials compared to a lab manufactured material. We used three groups, but 10 specimens in each group. One 3D printed flex group, one 3D printed firm group, and one typical lab manufactured material made of PMMA. To determine the wear resistance, we compared the surface roughness of materials before and after our wear simulation. The surface roughness was measured in two ways. First, by stylus profilometry, and then laser profilometry. The images of laser profilometry can be seen here. This demonstrates the topography of our, of our specimens after the wear simulation, showing the areas that had the most wear. The wear test itself was performed using a wear simulator developed by the Tufts University School of Mechanical Engineering. The wear simulator schematic can be seen here in figure three. An antagonist is placed on our material and moved back and forth to eight millimeter increments to simulate the wear of a nighttime grinding. The antagonist in this case was an enamel cusp that was removed from an extracted molar and then was standardized for size and shape before being mounted to our wear simulator. Each of our specimens was simulated for one month of nighttime grinding. The results of the surface roughness after the wear test showed significantly better wear resistance for the 3D printed night guards compared to the lab manufactured night guards. Here in figure four, we have the graphic schematic of our data. The laser profilometry as well as the stylus profilometry both agreed in their results showing the better wear resistance for the 3D printed materials over the lab manufactured materials. There was no significant difference between the flex and the firm 3D printed materials. In conclusion, based on our study conditions, the flex and the firm 3D printed night guards showed better wear resistance than that of the lab manufactured material. Thank you.